We have this notion that everybody wants us to fail or is looking for all of our flaws. In fact, everybody really wants you to succeed. If you're in my audience when I'm doing a presentation or in my class when I'm teaching or in my meeting that I'm presenting in, you know, you're there because you want to get some value from me. You're not sitting there waiting to see me screw up. So we, if we, we take some of that pressure off, it can really help. I think another big fallacy that a lot of us have is, well, if I just pre-script it, and I just follow a recipe, then I won't have any of this stress and anxiety. But actually scripting things is worse for you than getting comfortable with this unknown and, and having frameworks to rely on in the spontaneity of communication. You're, you're highlighting one of the big counterintuitive notions in the work I do and the book I wrote is that scripting actually works against you, but some preparation can help you. So we have to find that fine line. Let me explain quickly why scripting is, is problematic. When you create a script, you create the right way to do it. And many of us want to do our communication right. We want to be perfect or as perfect as we can be. And that gets in the way of us actually doing it well at all. Think of it this way. Your brain is a little bit like a computer. It's not a perfect analogy. But when you're on your laptop or on your phone and you have lots of apps and windows open, it's not performing as well right? You're, you're, you're really taxing it. The same is true when I'm speaking. If I have a script I'm constantly comparing to and judging and evaluating, it means I have less cognitive bandwidth to focus on what I'm actually saying. So in the book and in my classes, I have this saying I tell all my students, and that is maximize mediocrity. And you should see their jaws drop. What? Why should I be mediocre? But here's the truth in this. If we dial down that volume of that judging and evaluating, that following of the script, we actually then free up resources to actually be better at our communication. So on the last, the last part of the first class where I say maximize mediocrity, I come back to that and I say maximize mediocrity so you can achieve greatness. I just talked with somebody yesterday who gave me this great statement. He said, so what you're talking about is clearing your cognitive cache. Yes, we just have to clear that out be focused on connecting. It's about connection, not perfection. And that's what makes us feel more comfortable in that moment and breaks us away from that script. And I think therein lies one of the biggest issues that a lot of people recognize is if you're in an analytical job that and that job puts food on the table, a roof over your head and clothes on your back and, and, and you do well at that job, you're trained to be analytical. And you're, so your mindset is always problem, solution, uh, oriented and, and, and looking for weak points. Well, that's what you're going to see. And that's how you're going to vision interactions in order to connect. We have to be present. That cache needs to be cleared. We need to be having our empathy taking over and feeling those emotions that are in that moment. Cause that's the part that connects us. If we're on our head and we're listening for problems so we can find solutions, we're not present. You're 100% correct. Connection happens in the present moment. We have to be there for the folks we're talking to. And we have to be audience centric. So it's not about us. It's really about what's going on for them. The word communication, its origin is to make common. And in order to make something common, you have to connect. You have to appreciate the other person's perspective. And you also imply in that, John, this notion of listening. It's, you know, as I do more of this on the podcast I host, Think Fast, Talk Smart, we talk a lot about, it's all about communication. And the, the two things that have become clear across all our episodes is you have to focus on your audience and you have to listen. And if you can do both those things, you will improve your communication and your connection. 